Hello YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform a clean install of Security Youngin 1404.3.1. This is the 1.13.2016 version of the ISO. It actually enhances greatly on the capabilities of Security Youngin running on the 14.04 platform of Ubuntu Linux. So once you get to this screen after booting off of either a USB image or the DVD image, go to install security onion hit enter bear in mind this is running in a virtual machine so those characters that are on the screen don't think anything of that it's just kind of going to freak out a little bit really no biggie all right and once it comes up you want to select your language and click continue and then it's going to make sure you have at least 7.3 gig of space and is connected to the internet you can tell it to download updates i don't recommend that right off the bat on the install just leave it at default and click continue and if your disk actually has anything on it, you can either do the Erase Ubuntu uh, 1404 LTS, erase the disk, and install Security Onion, or you can do something else to go in and configure it how you want. Seeing as how it's going to run Security Onion, and it pretty well knows what all it's going to need, I'm going to go ahead and tell it to erase. I know a lot of you will want to encrypt the new security install. A lot of times if you do the encryption, it can cause problems, so you better to leave that at default and not do the encryption. Plus, the encryption will slow it down quite a bit, and you want it to run as quickly as it absolutely possibly can. The next screen that just popped up was the one saying what it was going to do with the partition. Just click continue. It'll go ahead and erase the partition. Configure the partitions on the drive, and it'll get you set up. Select your time zone. I'm just going to leave it at the default. Click continue. And now it's going to ask for the keyboard layout. If you don't know exactly what it is, you can click here, start typing, and it'll pop up what the keyboard layout is and auto-detect it. Or most of the time, it'll auto-detect what the keyboard is anyway. So once you have your keyboard layout set, click Continue. And now it wants you to put in the name. So this is a lab system for me. You do want to put in a fairly decent password. I'm going to put in a weak password just because this is a lab system, it's not an actual live system. But you will want to use uppercase, lowercase numbers, and special characters in the password. Make sure it's a strong password. I know you're going to want to be tempted to click encrypt my home folder. Again, I do not recommend that. Click continue once you get your password and username and everything set up. And now it's going to go through the process of copying the files to the hard drive. This process can take a little while, so I'll see you guys later. Welcome back YouTube. Once the install is finished, it'll come to the install complete and have a restart button. Just click restart now. At this particular point, you'll also want to remove your install DVD or USB drive or not tell it to boot from that. So that way it doesn't try to actually boot to the drive. In most cases, it will eject out the disk tray. And as you can see, it says, please remove install media and close the tray. If any, then press enter. So once it gets to that point, you hit enter, and it'll go ahead and restart. And once it's up, it'll bring you to this screen. You can do a memory test. You can do a serial console. Or you can just do the load to the actual OS desktop. Once it fully loads, you'll have to put in the username. And then put in the password. And there it is, fully loaded up. It's really tiny on my screen right now because I haven't changed the screen resolution. It's defaulted to 800 by 600. But once it's fully loaded up, at this point you're ready to run the Security Onion setup. Or if you have dual Ethernet cards to actually go in and create a bridge between the two cards to put it in line. However you want to configure it works great. I will have a video later on for how to set up the bridge with dual NICs and how to actually run the setup and configure your security onions so that way you're running your security system. This information is out there for absolutely everybody. And as always, watch, like, and share. Have yourselves a great day.